is still here. So we've got quite a treat, uh, in my opinion, anyway. Um, I was doing some of the XP-54 missions, working on the um, 60 multi-roll kills in however many battles you can get them in. And clearly that's going to take a while. And I figured, well, I'm just going to be going out there in um, planes, killing multi-rolls. Then I might as well do something that I haven't had the opportunity to do too much of in the past. And that's actually, um, well, I'm going to try to get some gold ebbs. I'm going to go out of my way um, to try to get these. So let's see what we can do. What is a gold ebb? Well, that's three rocketeers in a sortie and winning the battle. So basically I've got to get Rocketeers, I've got to get them uh, you know, without dying. I don't need to get them consecutively, so like I can get a Rocketeer and then kill with the guns and then get a Rocketeer and then kill with the guns and yada yada yada. Um, but these planes here are pretty, pretty well built to getting uh, Rocketeers. I've never necessarily been one to go out of my way to try to get Rocketeers. Um, my dogfighting tactic tends to have me going behind the planes, um, using the maneuverability of this plane. And the next plane that we're going to see today, which is going to be the Tier 9 version, the BVP-212, um, use the maneuverability and the slight speed to get myself in position behind enemy aircraft. And, um, you know, take them out that way. You have on the tier 8 here that I have, um, you have two 20 millimeter cannons. They're a little, they're a little on the weak side. Um, if only because you've only got 20 of them. They're strong guns individually, uh, but at tier 8 it would, would have been nice to have three. And it is what it is though. Um, considering you've got these uh, air to air rockets mounted to your plane, you know, that, that makes up for it. And so, you do really want to be taking advantage of the rockets. The fact of the matter is, you know, if you're only taking advantage of the guns, like I would previously do, yeah, you can have really good games with this plane. It is very maneuverable. Um, has a lot of spinning ability, as you can see. Has some good burst speed. Um, you know, it's not the best quote-unquote fighter, but it's not supposed to be a fighter. It's supposed to be a multi roll fighter. So if you're not taking advantage of the air-to-air -air rockets, um, then you're not taking advantage of the full platform, right? And you know, that's something that I try to take advantage of with my other planes that have bombs or rockets. I try to utilize those bombs and rockets. Typically those are air-to-ground bombs and rockets, obviously air-to-ground bombs. Um, but if I'm not using the rockets and bombs, then you know, I'm not using the full capabilities of the plane. Uh, excellent. Was not able to get the kill there. I'm kind of confused. It says I got the kill, but it says I didn't get the kill. No, no, no. Anyway, tossed a bunch of rockets there. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty um, flying on the edge of my seat when it comes to my rocket attacks. I'm not nearly as smooth as some of the uh, some of the better pilots that are out there. Um, I tend to have an all-or-nothing approach with my rocket attacks. It's head-on. Hopefully, my rockets kill them. Um, I do. I definitely need to get better at um, dodging their incoming attack. Um, something that I think I mentioned in the after um, after battle results screen is the fact that these air-to-air -air rockets actually have quite um, a long range that I don't take advantage of. And I caught it here, re-watching the video, seeing that multi-roll coming inbound on me here. Uh, but totally missed it in the uh, aspect of this particular battle at the time. So unfortunately we've got two rocket kills there, maybe. And we've died. So to get a gold up, we've got to start all over. Uh, we're having a pretty decent battle though. The the game itself looks like um, you know, we're moving in the right direction. We're at four sectors to one. Um, let's see what we can do here. Our air to air rockets are back. Let's boost on up here. Let's go ahead. Yeah, that, that uh, XP 72 is. XP 72 is pretty darn fast. So 
he's moving away. When he's spending too much energy and spending too much time um, going in the other direction. Oof. I don't know if I got the Rocketeer on that or not. Um, let's see here. I was kind of lucky there. If I was smart, I would have, um, you know, dived out of the way. Just in case he, um, you know, had the head-on rocket towards me. You can see my normal tactic, and I play this plane like a light fighter. And I typically just use the rockets for, like, basically defense, air-to-air -air defense when somebody's coming head-on, and I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, survive or get away. So we have this sector. All right, here's our 262 friend. He's way down there. We've got a multi-roll up top here. Um, yeah, see, I should have fired my rockets quite a bit earlier. Uh, we got him, but he got us. So we're at like four Rocketeers, something like that. Maybe it was three. But either way, not goal about it. Have not gotten the. Uh, they're up three sectors to two. So right now, uh, we've got to make a decision: Are we going to continue for this um, you know, self-made mission, or are we going to try to um, go for it? So, go ahead and spawn up north. We're going to defend this sector a little bit. Along to the center. Let's see what we can do with this. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from the point. I don't know. If Pat likes my decision making, but let me see. Uh, I still got some rockets. And I'm waiting until um, waiting until they're like right on me. It's really not something that I should be uh, doing. The range on these rockets, I believe, is 4,500 feet or you know, 1,400 meters. So I really need to take advantage of that sooner. I'm waiting until. Far too late, and it's definitely going to lead to some bad games. Which is probably why I've had so many games where I've tried to get Rocketeers. Uh, we've got eight seconds before Squalline. Um, so we've got this one here. Let's get this one. Somebody else will get him. They want to get him anyway. Jerks. Alright, so 262's got air to air rockets and ridiculous cannons. We don't need to mess with any of that. Yeah, he knocked out my wing, but that's okay. He didn't knock out my engine. We might be able to stick with him. Can I get him? Can I get him before the plane kills me? Nope, gotta turn him. This is one of those decision making moments where it's like, well, do I, do I kill this 262 and die myself? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, yep, watching out for those rockets. Was able to uh, avoid that. You know, he fired them. Yep, I fired them poorly. Uh, got another Rocketeer. Like. Alright, so... Ah! I'm in all kinds of trouble here. Um, engine knocked out. When your engine's knocked out, enough that way. I'm just kind of sitting duck at this point. So I'm waiting to die. Um, there is an air defense aircraft behind us. Uh, uh, dang it. Double dang it. Alright. Well, hopefully we've set our team up for the win, at the very least. Um, I didn't, I didn't see a goal of it, but I might not have been. You know, the way that the game registers kills, um, sometimes it doesn't pop up on the screen with the Rocketeers. So, might have gotten one. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, we're at four sectors to one, so we're definitely going to win this now at this point. We did get a handful of kills after Squall Line, so... Um, believe we've set our, our team up for success and yeah I, I think we're definitely gonna win here now we're just counting down okay, so I really do love the Batwing it's it's a fighter and it really is um, and, and so playing it as a fighter rather than some you know sort of ground damage um, plane is definitely the way to go Excellent. So we did get our Rocketeer. We got a Golubev. Excellent. Um, completely happy with this result. Let's uh, go ahead on back. All right, so 540 capture points. Um, six sectors captured. Uh, pretty darn nice, in my opinion. Um, yeah. So this was a game that I had yesterday. I wasn't necessarily planning on playing more than one uh, Golubev game or attempt. Uh, but I figured, you know what, again, I'm, I'm trying to bounce around 
and um, play a bunch of different planes while I'm trying to get these multi-roll kills. Let's go ahead and uh, listen to my um, after-game um, assessment uh, that happened directly after this particular battle happened. Well, alrighty. I was not expecting to get a Golubev there. Um, I was kind of trying to get one, actually. Um, but I kept thinking I died after, like, two. Um, how many freaking rocket kills did I get there? Um, I don't even know. I don't even know. Six sectors captured, which is pretty impressive for me. I'm not usually a sector capturer. Um, 15,000 personal points. Okay, 6,000 or so aerial damage. Um, yeah, not not too bad of a battle. And, uh, you know, the most important thing, working on uh, getting the Swiss Goose. So, yeah, good overall battle. I had to deal with that vampire. He could pretty much own me every time I ran into him. i got to give him a GG, to be honest. Um, yeah, I need to... Um, well, you know what's funny is, so I just recently on this plane finally got expert rocketeer as a skill um, and I'm gonna say gonna go out on the limb and say that it, it certainly helped um, I am NOT a rocketeer kind of pilot I've been watching uh, Fallen Angel um, Sniper Sun uh, quite a bit and trying to get some trying to get some motivation at the very least I definitely do not have his skill set He's definitely, definitely better Rocketeer than I am. Um, I tend to put myself in a lot more danger with head-ons, and um, I need to learn some, learn some of what he does for sure. But I would like to say that I did pretty darn well here. All right, so I've actually just reset my pilot skills as well. So I've got the um, Expert Rocketeer and Marksman 1 on here. I don't know if next up will be Marksman 2 or maneuverability expert, aerodyna aerobatics expert, excuse me. Um, but I went with aerodynamics expert instead of engine guru, and that's just because it will help my speed and my maneuverability, um, especially since I've specialized the BVP-210. And so aerodynamics expert, excuse me, is definitely the way to go. And yeah, so that'll make this plane even stronger the next time I fly it. Um, what else? Yeah, so as far as equipment is concerned, I've set it up for pretty good maneuverability. I figure this is a um, light fighter wannabe anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and take full advantage of that. As far as the um, outboard weapon is concerned, I figure let's reload the rockets as quickly as possible so we can get those back up. It certainly helped in this particular battle and I believe it'll help going forward. Um, yeah, it impacts your, your overall airspeed but I'm okay with that. I tend to play this more as a maneuverable fighter rather than a speed fighter. I do have a um, experimental upgraded engine on here, which helps with the overall cruise speed and acceleration. It even helps with the engine cooldown rate. And so, um, you know, I do have I do have my boost in regards to that. This is all advanced equipment. None of it is the um, the top rated equipment yet. So we'll see just how far I can push this particular plane in the future. But as far as this, uh, you know, overall setup is concerned, I'm pretty darn happy with it. Um, yeah, I really like this plane. It is definitely a great plane to continue to grind down. Um, if you haven't gone down, I really enjoyed the... I didn't, when I first played it, enjoy the FW-190s um, until I got to the Dora, which seems to be like the opposite of everybody else. But my point is, this whole line is really good. The tier 10 needs to be played differently than the tier 8 and tier 9. But the tier 8 and tier 9 are absolutely excellent when you've got, um, you know, like the quintessential bat wings here, right? This at tier 8, and an even better one at tier 9. Look at that thing. Oof, punch you in the face and keep on moving. I need to get this thing specialized, don't I? Anyway... Okay, and now we're going to be taking out the BVP-212. This is the Tier 9 um, German multi-role fighter. It plays very, very similarly to the BVP-210 before it. The biggest difference between these two planes, between Tier 8 and Tier 9, is actually the speed advantage you're going to get. Um, you get a lot more speed. 
get a lot more maneuverability. Um, you also get a third gun, which is incredible. I'm um, thinking of this manner. You're basically getting a 50% boost to your damage output for the guns. And so unlike the tier 8, this plane actually feels very comfortable um, in dealing with damage with its guns. See this uh, boost speed that I've got going on here. Uh, I'm going to try to go for some more Rocketeers here as well. Um, I don't remember exactly the details of this particular battle. But you can see the guns just really tear through um, enemy planes pretty quickly. Having those three 20mm cannons is very, very comfortable, especially if you felt comfortable with the um, 210 with just two cannons. Getting a third cannon is like, oh man, it's like easy mode almost. This plane looks freaking awesome. So I mean, that's a lot good, of good going for it, right? Um, so let's see what we can do here. Haven't really had a, a um, rocket opportunity, but I mean, those those come in crazy like spurts. Suddenly you'll get those people coming in on and you're like, oh, guess I'll uh, see what I can do here. All right, so we've got a. Yeah, let's see if we can get this Hawk. Help us get the. Um, Multi-role mission taken care of. I was trying to get this bomber, but just wasn't able to get the bomber before uh, they got the sector. Moving at a pretty decent clip there. And yep, I knew we were gonna have something coming in behind us. Let's see if we can just boost down a little bit. Martin, I can definitely outmaneuver. Problem is, I might not be able to outspeed him. He's trying to turn. Not the way that you want to do that. If you're trying to avoid somebody when you're uh, working 229, you want to um, still boost away, turn a little bit, but not like actual turns. So kind of wiggling just to have them miss their shots for long enough. Uh, can I? Can I? That's typical, uh, typical rocket shenanigans for me. Uh, used two salvos of those air-to-air -air rockets and we were really anywhere close. There's a very, very dangerous uh, plane here. And I thought he was going to be heading me on. He decided he didn't want to, so there goes one whole load of air-to-air -air rockets for nothing. And where I feel more comfortable in this plane for air-to-air -air combat, that actually makes it worse for trying to get rocket uh, kills because I feel like I can get myself out of this situation rather than getting into a head-on type situation. Um, <laughs> the I-260 got me. That's pretty funny. Um, where I feel more comfortable you know, being able to, to have dogfight engagements, it keeps me out of those head-on types engagements, which kind of negates the, the rocketry of this particular plane. Alright, so unfortunately we died, in case you didn't notice that. And so even if we had gotten ourselves some Rocketeer kills, um, we have to restart at this point. Um, unless we'd gotten three. Which we did, so that's not the point. Let's go ahead and let's see what we can do here. Um, as far as the game is concerned, we're up on points, but only barely, and we're definitely down on sectors three to one. No es bueno. So let's go ahead and let's um, let's start attacking here. Let's see what we can do in regards to our air to air attack. Get rid of this I-260. He's not necessarily the more dangerous of the two planes here. He's definitely going to be trying to come after me. And so we want to make sure that we get rid of him first. Alright, we've got a Horton somewhere around here. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. Get back around. Alright, we've got ourselves. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. We need to get rid of this guy. He can definitely outturn us. Let's start hitting him. Hmm. These three cannons are not doing the work that I would like for them to be doing. Let's get a little bit closer in here. There we go. Excellent. Um, shall we defend this sector? Yes, we shall. We've got one sector solidly, and that's because we just captured it. Um, let's see what we can do to defend this sector a little bit. Um, yeah, this guy's got less hit points. Let's get him knocked out first. He might 
be the higher tier plane, but just killing him is going to be the more important part of this. And let's go ahead and get rid of this item. MC can set MC. Rockets in the face! Actually, those were in the butt, but that's okay. Who's asking on an MC 1070? Alright, so let's go ahead and boost on forward here. See if we can get our team to put some pressure on their command center. Right now we're down on points. Just barely, but still we're down. And uh, we're tied as far as sectors are concerned. So that combined means that at this point, if the game keeps going this way, and we just keep flipping back and forth, uh, we are going to eventually um, lose. Uh, the I-260, there we go. I put those rockets out a little bit farther this time. Um, did I ram him technically? I guess so. Don't really want to go uh, head on versus an I-260. Um, even with the rockets, the chance of um, getting blapped out of existence is pretty high. Especially since I only had one salvo of rockets. If I had two salvos, it might be different. Um, my one salvo really didn't do a whole lot of damage to me. It looked like. Anyway, we survived, he didn't, so that's great. Uh, we've now got three sectors. We're doing a lot of damage here in the center. Um, doing some defense work. Nice. We've got these ground attackers coming in, so let's see if we can't uh, make. I don't think I'm going to stick with them. Um, in my head right now, I wouldn't stick with him. I would just want to do some damage to him. This guy might be able to kill him one go. Um, but I don't want to spend too much time um, going after these guys when the reality is we've got other uh, work to do. Let's see if we can get another rocket. Yeah, nice. Perfect, we'll take it. Oh, cool. All right, so let's move along. Let's head back to the center here. We've still got a couple salvos of our rockets. And we'll see what we can do here. 260 again. Is he paying attention to us? He's not, so let's take advantage of that. It's just another situation where we're coming in behind rather than going straight on. And let's see if we can get him knocked out. Perfect. Plus, we got our um, getting some multi roll kills, which is always nice. Keep on keeping on here. If, uh, firing the rockets would have been a good uh, option. And suddenly it's air supremacy. Where'd that come from? Who knows? All we're trying to do at this point is just be a huge pain in their ass, right? Um, is this a good rocket here? Yes, it is! And got the ace on it! And that would be a Golubev, I would think, because that would be the third in the sortie, as long as we win the battle. But keep in mind, Golubev uh, needs that to be completed. Uh, we want to get this um, Seahawk if we can, just because... Whoop, not the right time to uh, go head on versus the Seahawk. Um, we wanted to try to get another multi roll kill. Pretty darn good uh, result there. Yeah, definitely got the Golubev. Got the um, Winged Legend, of course. Got a Lang. Got a Guardian. Got a flipping Ace. Um, wow. Not expecting that. Really wasn't, but um, ended up being a great game. Let's head on back. All right, so. <laughs> Uh, I can specialize this plane now. Um, now granted, I want to say a lot about this battle um, after the fact kind of thing. This battle was kind of set up for me to do pretty well in. The fighter on the enemy team was a little, very less maneuverable. <laughs> Bad English. Um, you know, Horton 229 cannot outmaneuver a, uh, a 212. So that's certainly helpful. The other human was in an I-260. Again, I can outmaneuver it. The only thing that could outturn me was the Key 94, which was a bot, and it was doing bot kind of things. Um, so again, this this battle is kind of set up for me to do well. That being said, you still have to follow through and actually do well in it. And um, I did pretty darn well there. Got a Lambert, got an Ace, which I definitely was not expecting. Was going for the Golubev. Wasn't sure I'd get it, because I was, you know, I, the rocket opportunities in this plane, or in this battle anyway, seemed a little less um, obvious. I kind of had to manufacture some going against ground attackers, which I don't usually use rockets for. So, But hey, do what you gotta do, right? Um, and yeah, happy camper for sure. 
Um, yeah, just a really good all-around battle. Really well balanced. I'm kind of surprised I didn't get a uh, Hero of the Sky. Guess I needed another sector captured, or how many more points did I need? Oh, 10 more capture points! And I would have had a Hero of the Sky. Oh, well. Um, let's go ahead and let's specialize this bad boy. What is this? Oh, it's just a specialist. All right, yeah, cool. Cool, so let's go ahead and... So I've got this pilot set up how I would want to have this pilot set up. Um, which is with the aerobatics expert and the aerodynamic expert. Let's go ahead and take care of all this stuff that I wanted to have taken care of. And... I guess we're going to do upgraded engine. What do we have? Nope. Do an upgraded engine, then it would seem. We're going to buy that, and we're going to soup up everything here. Um, as far as the outboard weapons is concerned, we want the reload speed built up as much as possible, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's add our consumables. I use first aid dressing. The reason being is because if it's a flammable plane, I'd rather just use one pilot point and put my pilot as a firefighter, um, and that way the first aid kit does two it does double work. It's you know obviously puts the pilot back in, which would in turn um, put out the fire. All right. So as far as the airframe is concerned, definitely pneumatic control assist. As far as engine is concerned, definitely engine cooling, forward firing, definitely that and improve fragmentation yes um let's get this all bumped up to advanced let's see what our options are here critical damage and causing a fire that's perfect that's exactly what i want um let's enhance this up to advanced we be putting a chunk of money in here Wings resistance to critical damage. That's actually not a bad roll maneuverability. Sure, I'll leave that alone. I'm not stressing out about either of those. Once I get this fully um, set up to whatever the heck's past advanced, I forget what it's called. I always call it legendary because it's like gold colored. Um, acceleration, cruise speed. Eh, sure, I can deal with that. Um, once I get it to that level, I'll go back and maybe do some sort of um, calibrating. Alright, so here, maximum speed with boost. That's kinda that kinda sucks actually. Not calibrating, I'm sorry, I'm reassembling. I don't ever calibrate until I get it fully um, you know, fully maxed out. I'm not actually quite sure. That's good. Cooldown rate's definitely good. I'm not actually quite sure what the point of calibrating before you get to max is. Like you're spending you're spending a bunch of credits when you could just literally enhance it and just bump it up 100 rather than calibrating and spending a bunch more money just to get it moved up to 78. Bombing accuracy, that is absolutely terrible. There's literally no point in that, so we're just going to spend 400,000 to get rocket accuracy. Boop! Thank you. Appreciate that. And now we'll enhance. So I do that then because that way I don't need to use tokens to lock that in, right? So I know I'm keeping that one no matter what. But don't be freaking bombing accuracy. You son of a cracker jack. Again, completely. So now I've got to lock this in. So I've got to lock it in anyway and waste freaking two tokens. Bombing accuracy. What is the point of you? What is the point of you? To mess with me. Cruise speed. Sure, we'll take it. Why not? And apply. So now, now we've jumped up quite a bit. Um, I don't know what, comparatively to my tier. Yeah, so it's just barely maneuver more maneuverable than the BVP 210, but it's definitely got a lot more speed and definitely got better guns, as you would think. You've got three 20 millimeter cannons on here, whereas with the 210, you have just the two. And so that's definitely um, a, a huge increase, just being able to have three cannons um, firing at that point. As far as my reload speed is concerned, we're down to 53 seconds. What was the reload speed on the BVP-210? I felt like it was like 
Oh, I guess it's 53. I felt like it was like 30 seconds. It was reloading so quickly. Uh, but I guess it's exactly the same. Optimal distance I need to pay more attention to. 4,500 feet. I'm always firing them way too early. I mean, way too late. I'm firing them when my guns are within range of my guns. About half that range. So I've got to get better. I just got to get better at that. Yeah, honestly, I need to remember 4,500 feet. If I'm at 4,500 feet, I can fire them by the time they get to me. You know, they're going to be 3,500 feet away, basically. And so I need to start firing my rockets at a better distance. But this is what you've got to look forward to for both the BVP-210 and the BVP-212. Two excellent, excellent, excellent multi-role fighters in the game. Honestly, I play them like they're fighters with some incredible air-to-air -air, uh, rockets. Um, that's why I focus on maneuverability with these particular planes. These two, anyway. Um, it's very funny. Then you go to tier 10 and then kind of go the opposite direction and focus on speed. But that's a different discussion for a different day. Um, yeah. Once I get my, um, once I get one more point, I'm actually going to change out this engine guru for Marksman 2. That'll give me even more accuracy um, when firing at maneuvering targets. Um, actually, wait a minute. I don't even have Expert Rocketeer on here. Hold up. I need to change this out for Expert Rocketeer. Um, I don't need nor really, really care about having the um, Engine Guru 1. The airspeed's pretty darn good on this plane right now anyway. Um, Expert Rocketeer would certainly be the better way to go, and that'll, that'll certainly help me out. Then the next push would be to get Marksman 2 on here, which will be quite a long um, grind to get those three points, but c'est la vie. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed both of these uh, gameplays. Um, just really, really good planes. Just You got you want to go down this line. You just do. These are going to be more like traditional multi-rolls, bombs, rockets, um, pretty darn good airspeed, all things considered, and then um, you know minimal maneuverability, and then you throw all that out the window, and you get even more airspeed, and great maneuverability, not really any ability to attack the ground, but really good dogfighting ability with the BVP-210 and the BVP-212. Anyway, I uh, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.